Your pet will look dashing as an old-timey Royal Sea Captain. This video will cover what you need and how to assemble the hat and collar pieces. Let's get started. For your supplies, you need one of each color of these felt squares, navy, gold, and white, plus one square of stiff black felt, one yard of 5 8 inch width ribbon, one yard of 3 8 inch width ribbon, two and a half yards of 1 8 inch width gold ribbon, one quarter yard of 1 inch gold fringe, one small half inch button. You'll also need thread, pins and needles, fabric glue, a product to stop fraying, scissors, sewing gauge, and a sewing machine is optional. You can download the pattern for the hat and collar from our website. See the description for a link. From the blue felt, cut one from the hat pattern with a straight edge going on a fold, two from the collar, and two from the shoulder pattern. From the gold felt, cut out two from the shoulder embellishment pattern. From the white felt, cut one from the cravat pattern. From the stiff black felt, cut out two from the shoulder pattern and two from the flower pattern. We'll make the hat first. Cut the 3 8 inch ribbon in half and to the ends apply a product to stop the fraying and let it dry. Around the perimeter of the hat, attach the gold ribbon using fabric glue. Since the ribbon is thin, apply the glue lightly. Do this to both sides of the hat. Next, I'm going to create the shape of the hat by folding it. And to fold this, I'm going to first start by folding the center and then bringing up the ends to meet with the center fold. So I'm folding up here, bringing up the end here, bringing up the end here, and basically kind of pinching it, the fold in between the two ends. Now this should be about an inch on each side. You don't have to measure it exactly, but that's what it is. So again, fold, bring up, bring up, and that kind of gives you your hat shape. If you turn it over, you can kind of see there's a gap between the folded edges. Pin the edges with straight pins. Doing one side at a time, take out the straight pin and slip the end of one of your cut ribbons and repin. Repeat with the other side. Sew each edge at your sewing machine using a quarter inch seam allowance. You can also sew this by hand if you don't want to use a sewing machine. Take both of the black flower pieces and lay them on top of each other, rotating one so it looks more like a flower instead of an X. Attach them together at the center with a dot of fabric glue. Cut a piece of your gold ribbon two and a half inches in length. Fold in half, but pull the ends apart so they're not lying on top of each other. Attach to the back of the flower with fabric glue. Glue the flower with ribbon to one side of the hat, and now your hat is done. Now we'll move on to the collar. On both collar pieces, glue gold ribbon around the perimeter. You only have to do it on the right side, but make sure your collar looks like two opposite sides, a left and a right. Next, we'll do the shoulders. Cut off the squared end of the blue felt shoulder pieces. Glue the gold shoulder embellishment to each curved end of the blue shoulder piece. Then glue the blue shoulder piece to each of the black shoulder pieces. Cut two pieces from the gold fringe at three inches each. Apply glue around the outside curved edge of the shoulder and attach the fringe. You can also glue a strip of gold ribbon across the top of the gold felt to add more embellishment. Put glue on the squared end of the black felt and apply to each collar piece about one and a half inches from the short end. Now take the cravat piece. With a needle and thread, do a running stitch at one end. When you get from one end to the other, gently pull your thread to gather the fabric. Make sure to knot off each end to hold the gathering. Repeat this step two inches down from the first set of stitches. Trim off the bottom to create more of a point. Hand sew your button in the center of the middle gather for an extra embellishment. Take your 5 8 inch ribbon and lay it out flat. Apply fray product to the end to stop fraying and allow it to dry. In the center of the ribbon, glue the top gathered edge of the cravat to the center of the ribbon, placing the cravat edge to the back of the ribbon. Then just glue a collar piece to either side of the cravat. The top of the collar should line up with the top of the ribbon and the front edge of the collar should overlap a little with the cravat. The last step is to find a willing pet model to try on the costume. If you make this costume for your pet, please share a picture with us on social media. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of our new releases. Also check out ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 450 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can join our YouTube membership and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.